Hey guys, Neely here. I'm coming in today for a plan with me video. I'm going to be doing my weekly layout for this week. I'm actually a day behind on getting this layout done because I have been working on freezer cooking this first part of the week and um, I just haven't gotten to it. So now I'm finally able to sit down and relax because all of that is done. This is the layout I used last week and I really liked it. And so I am just going to take this out real quick. And so I will be able to use it as a reference. And then I'm just pulling out a couple of blank pages here. As far as materials for layout, I'm going to use my Faber-Castell small uh, pit artist pen. When I'm filling in my weekly spread with my to-do list and all that kind of stuff, I like to use my friction pens so that I can erase uh, if I make any mistakes. But for the actual layout, the lines and everything, I like to use my permanent marker so that um, it doesn't. I don't accidentally erase some of the lines. And I'm just going to be using my ruler that came in my Filofax and. I am just going to go ahead and get started writing out the basic outline of all the boxes here and I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do all of that so I will be back in a moment when the outline is done. All right, there is the very basic layout. And I wanted to mention that when I was first trying to figure out how to do a layout when I was just getting started just a few weeks ago, um, I watched a few YouTube videos of people doing layouts like this. And I found it really helpful to take screenshots at different points in the video um, so that I could reference it and the main YouTuber that I found that gave me so much inspiration in these layouts is, um, her name was Pixel Pearls, but she just changed it. So I will link it up in the cards. Definitely recommend um, going and checking her out. Actually, I'll, re I'll link up in the cards um, the video that I found the most helpful when I was trying to figure out my layout. So definitely check her out because she is very experienced in this whole world of planning. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my little stamps for my dinner and my videos. Here is the little stamp icon set that I have, and I will link down below to all of these materials that I use um, as long as I can find a link. Um, but this just has all kinds of cute little icons, and I am going to pull off the little fork and spoon and the little movie icon, because I like to do what's for dinner that night and then what video I'm planning on working on for the day. And I like to put the little video icon here and the little fork and spoon icon here, stamp icon, whatever, whatever. So just to get the placement, I just set it down where I want it to be. Make sure it's right. Got to get it perfect. And then I just set my acrylic block on here so that I can get it in the right spot. There we go. And now I'm ready to stamp and I'm just using the little stamp pad that came with this set. And um, actually someone commented very helpfully and recommended some ink pads because um, I was talking last time about the ones that I got that soaked through the paper and they recommended a couple of different kinds and I wanted to go pick some up and I just haven't been to Michael's yet, but I will be doing that as soon as I'm able to get over to Michael's. Um, so thank you for that comment. Um, and then, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this stamp pad until I'm able to find a better option. This one was the one that didn't soak through quite as bad as the other. And get it there. Doesn't that look cute? I love these little stamps. They're so fun. I love tiny things. And I'm just going to keep going on here until I get them all stamped. And I just have some baby wipes here that I use to wipe the stamps off when I'm finished to make sure they get all clean. All right, now I'm gonna do the little banners up here. Last time I did this cute little banner, I think I will do a different one this time just to keep life exciting. I'm gonna try this one here. And this little acrylic block came with this ink pad and this um, set of stamps. And um, But then I also got this extra set of two bigger uh, acrylic blocks um, that have the lines on them that are nice for keeping things straight. There are all the little banners there. 
Then for the to-do list, I think I'm going to try this one. See how it goes. And I have this little tiny stamp here that says to-do. Well, that looks cute. Now these are little tiny tracker boxes and I really would love to find a set of these stamps that aligns with the grids of the dot grid pattern and these ones are the closest I found but they're still not perfect but I'm just going to go ahead and use them. Um, at least they're all in a straight line before I was trying to like stamp each one individually and it just it ended up not getting in a super straight line so I'll just I'll just work with it. So. I'm going to just do the little boxes here on the daily to-do list. If anybody knows of any of these stamps that are specifically made for um, bullet journaling and this size of dot grid, please let me know. I would love to find something. Okay, I got all my check boxes in there. Now I'm going to attempt to do my tracker. Last time I did a tracker it was pretty messy so we shall see how this one works out. I did get my new set since I did my last one. These are so cute. I am just gonna get this lined up as much as I can right here. And not quite straight but it'll work. And they have all these cute little shapes to choose from. Let's see these are circles. I'll do those first. I have five different things I like to track, at least that's what I've been doing so far, and if I add, need to add anything else I will, but I think I'll be able to do five different shapes here for the five different things. These little hearts are so cute. And now some stars, and I'll do the last ones with the little drops, and that'll be for water tracking. So I like how the tracker turned out. I just need to add in the titles of the things I'm tracking. So I'm just going to fill in a few little spots here and add in the dates, add in the stuff here that I'm tracking, the days of the week, all that kind of stuff. All right, today is actually the 7th, and that's here, so we start on the 6th. So I'm just going to do the number here. And then I'm just going to do the abbreviation for the day of the week. All right, so I have my Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, I do on the same box there, and I forgot to add this little line here. And now I will add my tracker things. I know this bottom one is gonna be water. I do my 12 hour fast overnight. And then veggies, try to make sure I get veggies in at every meal. Do supplements and last one. Oh, steps. Getting in my 11,000 steps. Okay, there is that. Now, this box over here is my foods to use up box. And last time I made it portrait while the rest of it was landscape, but I think I'm just going to make it all uh, landscape this time. Maybe I'll put in a little stamp. I'll do this one. Looks okay, I guess. Looks all right. <laughs> Not my favorite thing in the world, but it works. It's functional. So this spot over here is my grocery list spot, and I like to use one of my sticky notes. Just gonna use this one this time. 
and it fits right in here. I will just put a little washi tape over this and I will put on my little grocery stamp. Yeah, a little messy, but it works. And of course, I've got to add some more washi tape to make things pretty. I think I'll just stay with this one because it's a cute one and we'll have it match. Maybe I'll do this one on the side here. And I will put some over here. All right, I think I'm going to add this as the last, the last decoration. I think I'll call that good. All right, guys, I think this is it. <laughs> this is the finished product. I think it turned out okay. I feel like every week I get better at it and it gets a little bit improved every time. And by the end of the year, I might be actually good at this. So I am just gonna pop this back into my planner here. And I did wanna mention, I didn't say at the beginning, the reason I do one side of this portrait and one side landscape is because of these rings. It's really hard to write since I'm right-handed on the left side of the page. It's just annoying and I can't have decent handwriting when I'm trying to write over these rings. So um, I'm usually sitting at a desk or I have my planner up on my counter and I walk over to it and write so it's easy enough just to turn and have it um, laying a different way when I'm on these days and then turn it and have it regular when I am on these days. So that is why I do the different layouts on each side and it has worked for me and I am very happy with it. So that is it for my weekly spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back again soon with more. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions. I'm always learning so much from your comments on especially planning because I am so very new at this. So if you have any recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will be back again soon. Bye guys.